we kind of all know that our cars are really rolling computers. Um, and then during the pandemic, we saw uh, an interruption in the, the uh, semiconductor supply chain raise the price, cause some issues with production. So we know how important chips are to production. But what can AI do for the automotive industry, at least in the near term? Are we going to see any big changes? Well, I think there's uh, there's three big buckets that uh, AI is going to have a huge impact in the automotive industry. The first one is really around increased efficiency, uh, you know, and and the second one is around transformation of business operations. And when you look at you know kind of peel back the onion on those things, it's really about you know the, the improvements on customer service, the uh, personalization of marketing. In supply chain and logistics, you you get to get uh, things like logistics, route optimization for the for the automakers. In manufacturing, you get predictive maintenance. Uh, but I think also one of the other biggest opportunities on this you know in transformation of their business operations is the advent of digital assistants. And the automotive companies have been talking about for quite some number of years that their vehicles now that they're connected. Right through the modems that every vehicle has that's being built right now, how do they get revenue out of that? And I think with the advent of AI and the uh, significant improvements in digital assistance, uh, I think that's going to turbocharge the, the the type of offerings that automo automakers can can offer their customers while they're actually owning the vehicle um, beyond just the initial purchase of it. That's really interesting. Okay. So it's, it's mostly some of the ancillary things. You don't see AI really transforming the car itself. Um, I do want to ask about electric vehicles. We've seen kind of choppy adoption here in the United States. Uh, in fact, the White House actually softening some of its expectations for EV adoption, now making it 67% of all vehicles sold by 2032 after some pushback from automakers. So two big questions. Is there any chance that we actually see these NVIDIA chips in the cars themselves? And what data centers is NVIDIA talking about? Because I used to actually work in Detroit. I've been to quite a few auto assembly lines. Um, I just don't, ha I don't see any data centers. I'm just not saying they would be there, but what data centers? What are these data centers doing? Is it all about just that back office stuff that you were talking about? Well, no, the automakers do have uh, main data centers for these. For an, an example is, uh, you know, Ford has a huge data center on its world headquarter campus. And, and I think the same thing is true for the other, the big automakers. Uh, in that, you know, they have a lot of data. You know, when you think about the advent of autonomous vehicles and getting to, you know, Nirvana, which is called level four, you know, a lot of that data that their vehicles are collecting, uh, again, because they're connected, uh, is going to be really important. And I do think, you know, chip makers like NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA has been trying to penetrate the automotive market for about 15 years now, 10 to 15 years really? now. They've had some success, but I think, you know, particularly with the advent of AI and the fact that AI is going to be crucial to developing, a, you know, full autonomous vehicles at level four level. Um, I think that's going to, like I said, kind of, you know, turbocharge, if you will, uh, the purchase of chips from companies like NVIDIA, which the automakers are going to use to make a lot of progress on this. So let me bottom line it. Can it help with EV adoption somehow? Can it help with setting up these charger networks to help with that EV adoption? I mean, what tangible things can we expect to see in the near term or medium term? Well, listen, overall, uh, for, for EV adoption, this really comes down to what I would call meat and potatoes issues for, for customers, right? Going to full adoption in the mainstream market is very different than early adopters. You know, early adopters, it's all about the latest technology, the impact on the environment. For mainstream adopters, it's around cost and convenience. And so, you know, when you look at the advent of AI, I don't know if that's going to you know, hugely increase the cost uh, reduction within EVs. It may, as I mentioned, help with the business operations and efficiencies of the automakers, which could allow them to get more efficient uh, and reduce costs. But this really comes down to, you know, as I said, you know, some basic needs of customers. And I think AI is not going to have a huge impact on that. Uh, it's really about those other issues.